well, it's time to paint. Um, we're going to do kind of a mix. We're going to go with a, a border and then keep this wood. Um, every time you look on a YouTube video, it's always prime the whole thing, paint it. Uh, you can get by without that. Um, yeah, I don't want to chance it, so I'm going to go with frog tape. It's a little more expensive. So just find uh, a measurement that you like. My decal is going to be 18 inches uh, wide, a circle. It's an 18 inch circle. So for me, it's going to be a two and a half inch border, two and three quarters. <laughs> So the thing you want to do now is that you have your lines is actually wipe down your tape line. And this is a microfiber cloth. Or you can use what I like to use, and this is a, a tack cloth. Uh, this is for pre-paint. So now I'm gonna go and take my uh, frog tape here. So you notice what I'm doing now is I'm going to go ahead and press with my thumb and ride that line. And that's going to be, I don't want bleed over at all. I'm going to do that all the way around. Alrighty, so now we'll take a blade, cut that off, make this thing square. You're going to take your razor blade, you're going to find that edge. And what I like to do is just put a little bit of saw action into it, so a little back and forth. Cut that tape and try not to cut the plywood, and it comes right off. And the same thing here, we're gonna do this in all four corners. We wanna make a nice paint line that goes around our hole, and there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can take your old, a hole that you use for your uh, hole saw, and use a compass, mark your outline, and freehand the circle. You could take anything that's round, clamp this down, and I can actually cut around with a razor blade and actually get my circle too. You could take a plate, whatever you have. Now I'm gonna show you something that I like to do and I think it's gonna work. And let's, uh, let's give it a shot. So for colors, we're gonna go with uh, a red in the center and a blue for the side, and then switch it up for the other uh, board. All right, drum roll please. Make sure when you peel, you peel kind of away. Oh, look at that. some uh, vinyl decals on. This is one of my favorite sports teams here, Boston Red Sox. Uh, what you're gonna want is your vinyl decal, a squeegee. Um, what I did is I actually marked this thing up exactly where I want to be with little pencil marks. I can sand that down when I'm done. Let's go ahead and peel this thing off and stick it on. And that's it. Got my high on my little mark. Go from the inside out. You can kind of feel if there's any bubbles in there. It's easier to get them out now as before when I actually start squeegeeing this on the actual decal itself. Voila! We're gonna go ahead and uh, use a uh, 
some kind of polyurethane and give this thing a nice coat on the back side and then flip it over and give this thing like four or five coats on the top side. Um, there's some debate on what polyurethane to use. You can actually use any. You can use a polyurethane, polyacrylic, water-based polyurethane. Polyacrylic and water-based polyurethane are the same thing. There's no difference. Midwax calls it polyacrylic and this company calls it water-based polyurethane. This is oil-based. Now, as a general rule, just general, the paint I put on there was a water-based paint. Um, you can use oil-based polyurethane for this paint, but as a general rule, you keep oil-based products with oil-based products and water-based products with water-based products. So I'm gonna be going over the vinyl decal um, and I'm gonna be putting this over my water-based paint. So I'm gonna go with my uh, polyurethane water-based or acrylic, the same thing. And uh, we'll start with that. The first coat goes on the hardest. It takes some time to soak into the wood, soak into the paint. Uh, the second coat and the third coat will look a lot better. It'll be a lot easier to smooth. So the first application is really about just putting it down and uh, we'll be sanding in between coats. And there we go, two complete cornhole boards. You were playing a uh, cornhole before? All right, you take the back right here. And you try to, try to shoot right into that hole right there, on the other side. Wait, so if you like, um, so yep, just grab one at a time. Just like I'm a cornhole? Just like this, it's like you're tossing it over. This? Yep. Good job, <laughs> try again. Try to make it all the way in the hole. Almost. Let's try again. Okay, and then just go slow. Maybe use your knees. Try that. Yay! We got on the board. Good job. High five.